What's going on guys, it's ASAP Flash here and I'm here with another Iron Fist video. Okay. Yeah, Iron Fist video had it kind of wrong. Anyway, so tonight I watched season, or this morning actually, it's one in the morning. So technically, this Sunday morning, which technically it's night, but whatever. I'm early or something. Okay. So I watched uh, season one, episode 10. Black Tiger Steals Heart, and the way I remember that eh, is BTS FH something, I don't know, but for some reason BTS kind of ring the bell for me, and it kind of easy to remember, and that's how I remember it, yay, so basically this episode, I don't know, this episode feels so reminiscent to me in uh, the, the, the near the end of the second season of, of of, uh, Arrow, no, not Arrow, what the fuck, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah, sorry, I had a little brain fart right there, I mean, because, it's like, guys, they're, they're taking to a safe haven, you know, it, 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 it's fairly kind of, like, like-minded people, you know, looking for train, get it away from, from, from the world, yada, 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 whatever, but, just like in that episode, I mean, I'm not saying that, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like, they're kind of, like, uh, had some hidden agenda. In this episode of Iron Fist, they definitely had a hidden agenda. The, like, basically, they're, like, an extension of the hand, and it's funny how, like, you know, when, 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 when the uh, guy, Bakuro, is telling him, like, you know, that, that we're, you know, a, a, group of people that, that's trying to get away from, from everything, yada, 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 whatever, whatever. You just can't help but to trust them because he has a very trusting face. But at the same time, those type of characters that, that, that seem to be trusting and be loving or whatever, they also have an ulterior motive. I mean, shit, take a look at Walking Dead, for example, uh, when uh, they, they, they're they interacting with, uh, with the cannibals. I mean, they look so entirely trusting and happy and whatever, but in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, that's a little creepy, especially nowadays when people are smiling and, hey, I can help you, yeah. I'm not saying the smiling is bad or anything, but just, I don't know, smi some smiles are just kind of creepy and off-putting. That's just me. Whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, so it's just like, like, it, 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 you get, you really get the feeling like, who the hell can you trust? I mean, you know, he, he just getting he just getting like a, this weird suspicion that they only like him because of the iron fist and what it, the uh, the protection he can offer him. So he's asking all these questions very very like suspiciously. You know, I mean, shit, you would be too if you're in such a weird in a in a different environment. You know, just kind of like don't really trust your surroundings, but trust your instincts on what. You know, your instincts is telling you, especially if some uh, uh, shady shit is about to happen, listen to that, because that's your brain talking. That's J Jiminy Cricket talking to you. If you don't listen to that, well, you're a fool. That's all I can say to you. Anyway, so that's pretty much one part of the episode. The second part of the episode, um, it's, uh, like, we fin I finally got the reaction that I'm looking for from uh, Joy Miko. Like, because in the last episode, she was, like, more or less happy, relieved, thankful that her father is actually alive. And she was, like, you know, the dream. And the episode started off with, like, you know, basically uh, kind of, like, asking, like, kind of like an interview, like, more, more or less like an interview type of thing. with like, you know, how did it feel, like, when you're dead and you come back to life, whatever, whatever. And she just had this, like... When a kid opens up his, his first present on, on, on Christmas morning, just like kind of like, well, I have to check out my sunglasses. Like, is that his real? Oh my God, he's real. You know, just something like that. Um, I mean, which is totally the reaction that I was hoping to look for in the last episode, but I didn't get it because she was like, oh my God, daddy. So complicated. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it was pretty pretty. Damn good episode. I mean, so good. I mean, the, what made it so great is like, like that, like I said, that uneasiness. I mean, who the hell can you trust? I mean, you know, I mean, at least with Daredevil, 
you knew who was corrupt and, and what were they doing and all that other stuff. With his, it's like, damn, it's like they're bad, they're bad, everybody's bad. It just seems like, like, under the same umbrellas, like we're the hand, but there's good fraction of the hand, and there's that faction that 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 is unfortunately making drugs, but they don't realize what the hell they're doing. I don't know. It's all a messed up world out there. It's that sad, cold world. I meant to say lonely, but not corny. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much the review of this episode. And this actually, I have three more episodes left, and then I'm done with Iron Fist. It kind of took me a while. It kind of took me longer than than most uh, Netflix shows. Not to say that this show is bad, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, some 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 of the days I couldn't get the chance to watch an episode. I'm a bad fan. Anyway, so I'm out with the flash and see you with another video. Oh, sorry, I didn't end it right there. I'll do it again. I'm out with the flash and see you with another video.